So what do I mean by f everything? What do I mean by the thumbnail? Let's see. Right, here we go! Go, 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 go! Energy, right. So, what do I mean by fuck everything? The whole point of it is not supposed to be negative. It's supposed to be, one, a bit eye-catching, but also, ultimately, we are so kind of caught up with opinions and what other people think and sort of, you know, is this right for me or is this good enough and all that kind of rubbish. So what basically I'm saying is, essentially is everything. Do what you want and forget everything else. Now that sounds maybe a bit harsh, so let me kind of back into that a little bit and explain a bit more. So when I say everything, I don't mean, you know, it's like not at the expense, not being horrible, not being an asshole, not so, that sort of thing. But when you've got something that you're focused on, something you love to do, something you're passionate about, something you love, you put your heart and soul into something because you love doing it and it's something that brings you pleasure, not for the, um, the views or the likes or just the adoration of others. You do it because you love doing it, full stop. That's the true, real reason for doing something. You know, don't do something for the money, because ultimately it's, it's just gonna give you an empty feeling. Often we do, the, do this thing that we love and we get that kind of, either external people saying, mm, you know, that's not good, or, or you know, the haters, all that sort of stuff. But even if you're not the sort of, <clears throat> I'll say, level where you're getting haters, or whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, LinkedIn, wherever, biggest kind of hater and the biggest critic is in here so often we'll do something and I've, I've you know we'll do this I'm sure you can relate you do something or you're doing something and you've got that little voice going yeah no that's that's either not good enough or yeah, that's you know what are people gonna think you know people are gonna think you're mad or stupid or ridiculous this kind of little voice constantly <clears throat> and often unfortunately that prevents us from actually doing stuff or finishing stuff we might start to take action and then don't because of this this little voice in the background now it's easier said than done to say well just ignore that voice ah! yeah, obviously ignore that voice but <clears throat> it's not that easy so the point of is of this is to sort of kind of encourage hopefully inspire to you to Kind of just be single-minded, almost, I'll, I'll put it out there, be obsessed with that one thing, that one thing or that thing you love to do and that brings you pleasure and, you know, it's just, it's enjoyment and you are truly passionate and you absolutely love doing it. You know, be almost obsessed with it um, when, at, no, just caveat, at the time you're doing it. I'm not saying just do that and everything, I'll forget your family, forget your friends and everything. No, what I'm saying is in the time that, the, that you're doing it, and that might be one hour a day, might be 10 hours a day, it doesn't really matter. But in the time you dedicate to that, be all in, be 100% in, and just be obsessed by doing that thing. Now, it could be building a business, it could be um, so, um, some sort of art, it could be, um, it could be, yeah, you know, anything. it doesn't have to be anything kind of external, it could be sort of playing with the kids, it could, whatever it is, but be all in. Now, I'm hands up, as always. I'm hugely guilty for not kind of maybe concentrating with the kids and being all in, but it's something that I'm working on. But if it's something that's in like that, you do be all in. And if it's something sort of creative or a business, something like that, be obsessed with it. And that means not listen to any external factors as in you know other people comments things like that saying no you can't do it yes you can do whatever but also internal factors don't listen to all the crappy <laughs> inside your head going eh, and sort of being very judgy because if anyone shouldn't be judgy it's you and it's here and it's I've said it before my friend Brian Penali said you know the hardest journey is that 18 inches between your head and your heart get out of here and get more into what you love your heart 
and your soul and what you kind of bring to it. Sort of, as I say, f everything, get all of that out of the way so you can just focus on the task at hand, whether it's something, something creative, whatever. And then the more you do that, the more often you're doing that, you're actually going to get a better strength to kind of push that sort of crap out of the way and be more immune to it. And it's just, it's, it's practice like anything, and you're almost exercising that kind of immunity muscle, if that makes any sense. But you're kind of pushing this stuff away and building up that strength that, you know, when you do get to a level where you get haters, it's nothing. You just, you know, it just doesn't matter because you've built up this, you're, you're not listening to yourself, your worst critic, and you're just going with it. And I'm not saying don't be critical when it needs to be critical, obviously. You know, don't just turn out, if you're painting, don't just turn out any old crap and go, eh, look at my masterpiece. You know, be a bit of sensible about it. But it's, it's all the kind of self-doubts. It's not putting something out and be, be objectively critical. Go, okay, it's not my best work because I didn't do the, the sky right or from a video point of view you know it's not my best work I didn't edit it as good as I could have done and the levels and the you know the color grading stuff like that that's kind of fine but then look at it objectively and go well I'm not gonna not put this out uh, because it's not perfect but I'll learn from that for next time I can then make it perfect rather than going no bin start again because you'll be so the next time you'll be, you'll get more and more overly critical, and you'll never produce anything. And as uh, Casey Neistat says, "Don't let perfection get in the way of good enough. Get stuff out, and then tweak it, tweak it, tweak it. Um, version one is better than version zero, etc., etc. One is better than nothing. All these quotes basically mean the same. But don't take that stuff to heart. It learn from it. It's a learning thing, and it's say it's not sort of." like the voices in your head. Have them look at things objectively, going, okay, this is not as good as I perhaps would like it to be, um, but, you know, I'll learn next time I do something, rather than constantly not do something. You know, put something out, there may be criticism, but that criticism will help as feedback, as information, as data, to tweak things and try it next time. So it's like, I'm um, jump from art to say prospecting on the phone. If you're ringing up a number of people and saying a certain phrase or a certain script and they re react in a certain way negatively, that's information that you're going to know why. Okay, that certain script, though that um, sort of selection of words in that doesn't work, doesn't really sort of build empathy between me and the prospect. So next, you know, next time I'll tweak them and try something else. That's better than going, oh, I'm not too sure if this is gonna, oh, no, I don't think I'm, I won't make the call because I don't think this is gonna, you don't know. Until you make the call, you won't know if it works. Until you create something and put it out, yes, I know you, as, as I said, this is where it's contradictory. You don't do things for external um, approval, but um, having um, an opinion of more than just here helps at least a sort of, confirm your thoughts. I said, it's a kind of weird one because it's quite rel relatively contradictory what I'm saying is you're doing stuff for you, put it out there and forget everyone else. But if you're creating um, things that other people, you want other people to enjoy or um, learn from, be inspired by, etc. like I'm doing with this, then their opinion has a relevance. Not their opinion on perhaps how I'm cutting it or how I'm mixing the sound or how I'm color grading the video. That sort of thing is very, very um, subjective. It's more the content. If people are saying, I don't like, if nobody likes the content I'm delivering, then it, it's, I'm defeating the object of what I'm trying to do. Whereas if a lot of people like it, but some people don't like the color, then I'm sort of okay. And then I can maybe tweak things. But you know, so it's take it, that kind of criticism very, very objectively and more so the, the criticism from your own mind because that can just stunt kill any creativity you have in whatever you're doing 
Um, so hence the f everything, just face down and produce, create, whatever it is, whether it's a, um, a funnel for your business, whether it's a video, whether it's a painting, whatever it is, just do it and don't think about anything else. Everything else. Done. See you tomorrow. Remember to smash like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And for now, bye.